What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are all having a wonderful day today. We are back playing some Pokemon Sword and Shield with this Defiant Galarian Zapdos and Naga Nadal team. So if you guys are hyped, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button. Seriously, it goes a long way. This team right here was sent in by Hazy. Hopefully that is your name or something along those lines. He sent them in his YouTube comments, well in my YouTube comments, and I got this team and now I'm hyped to try it out. But rocking out on this team, we got Galarian Zapdos in that front spot with that Life Orb and Defiant ability this thing is an absolute beast especially if you can trigger that define ability and get that plus two attack it has thunderous kick as its stab move drill peck for stab as well and then blaze kick and throat chop both for coverage Togekiss is back in the game we got one on our team right now with normal moveset nothing really has changed with this super like Super Luck, Scope Lens, Dazzling Gleam, Air Slash, Follow Me, and Flamethrower. Nothing new there. We also got Talon Flame behind my face cam as our Talon Pokemon. You guys already know about that with the Gale Wings and the Muscle Band. Then on the right side, we got brand new Naga Nadel, which is an Ultra Beast, and I'm hyped to use this thing. This thing's like an upgraded Beedrill. It looks amazing. Poison and Dragging Typing with the Beast Boost ability. Chewy Scarf to get that speed, and then a whole list of coverage moves. Well, not coverage moves. We got two stab and two coverage moves. We got Thunderbolt, Air Slash, both for coverage, and then Dragon Pulse and Sludge Bomb for stab. This thing kind of reminds me of, uh, was it Jigalji? Considering it's poison and dragon typing, which I absolutely love. So hopefully we can uh, do some work on the ladder with this. Bottom left, we got Garchomp right here. Garchomp is a phenomenal Pokemon. My first time actually showing him off on this channel, but I have a full-blown Garchomp team coming on the way, so this team really won't specify in Garchomp. That's why I kind of said it was like a Zapdos and Naga Nadel team. But Garchomp is here. Nevertheless, with Sandville, Choice Band, Iron Head, Breaking Swipe, Rock Slide, and EQ. I love its typing as well with the Ground and Dragon. It's just a little bit different, and it's awesome. And then in the final spot, we got ourselves Multi-Scale Dragonite with that weakness policy. This thing's an absolute beast. You guys already know about Dragonite. Has Waterfall, Iron Head, Dual Wing Beat, and Breaking Swipe. Guys, if you want to try out this team for yourself, rental code is at the bottom of the screen. But let's get rolling. Let's get into those casual battles and try to get some wins with this team. First battle coming at you guys, this guy has Landorus. Is that Tornadus? I think it's Tornadus. Yeah, Landorus, Tornadus, Galarian Zapdos, Tapu Fini, Reggie Drago. Oh god, gotta watch out for that thing. And uh, what is this thing called again? I totally forget. It's the horse that Calyrex rides on. It's the ice form though. It is the ice form though, and that thing hits like an absolute truck. But I gotta watch out for that Reggie Draco. That thing just poses such a big threat now that I know what it can do. So I'm gonna go with my Tailwind user. Does he have a Tailwind user? Does Tornadus use Tailwind? And then I might just go Tree Scarf, not gonna Dell right here. What's this thing's speed? What is this thing's speed? 165 with the choice scarf. It won't be able to outspeed that thing. I kind of want to go for it, but at the same time, I don't. But yeah, let's go for it. Let's get after it. We're going to choice scarf. Actually, no, we're not. We're just going to go toe kiss here. We can go Zapdos. I really want to bring Zapdos. What do I go for? Um, Let's go Garchomp. We're a choice bandit. Now let's go Naga Nadal, uh, Zapdos, and then bring Dragonite in the back end. I think that's the play. I think that's the play. We're going to stack up here. Get rolling with this. We got my boy Zapdos and Naga Nadel, the two Pokemon that I really want to show off here. But guys, if you are interested in building me teams, link to my Instagram page is in the description below. DM me over there, ask me what teams would you like me to build, all that good stuff. There are tons of teams that I still want to show off for the Crown Tundra and for rank and casual battles. I still need like Nido King, Nido Queen, Altaria, the Hoenn starters. Um, who else is there? Walreen, Agron, Regilecki, some of the Tapus. Like there are so many that I really want to show off that I'm trying to get my hands on. But he does go with uh, Reggie Draco as a turn one thing that's totally fine by me so i think we're gonna see a uh dual tail win here and then i'm just gonna dragon pulse out i'm just gonna dragon pulse out this should be able to take him out and we should be able to outspeed we match a tailwind and then my choice scar if not this thing is seriously op and needs to be stopped right now so we're really gonna see what happens we're really going to see a good call by me for doing this he is going to swap Reggie Draco, which you can go into the fairy pokemon let's see what he does Gonna go on Tapu. Okay, fair, fair play there. Fair play there. Get the Misty Surge. You smart little booger. You smart little booger. And now I'm choosing to this. Okay, we might have to swap you out. We might have to swap you out. That's tough news. Tailwind comes out. I think we're going to go Tailwind for Tailwind. Is that the play? Or are you just going to drop like a, like a Thunder move? Dragon Pulse comes out. Nothing. Does not affect Tapu. And then Air Slash is going to pop out over on Naga Nindel. Right? Nope. On Talonflame. Which is totally fine. Ooh. It hits like a truck. Got a crit. That's why. Whack. Game's whack. Okay. Um... Hmm. This one's gonna go for a dual wing beat. Who should, I, who, should I, who should I go after? I guess Tapu. Can I switch since I missed now? We're only choosing that. I guess we'll go for a Dragon Pulse and we'll let Naga Nadel go down this round. Which is fine. Which is totally fine. We're gonna get out Gal Galarian Zapdos after this. But smart play by him to swap into the Tapu there and uh, keep his uh, Reggie Draco alive. Because that thing is so scary. That thing is definitely scary. 
But what are you gonna do from here? The Misty Surge is huge. It's honestly huge because doesn't, doesn't that have dragon moves? Oh, don't tell me you're switching back into the boy. Don't tell me you're switching back into the boy. Now he's gonna go Landers to drop the Intimidate. Smart little call. Dude, this guy's playing. This guy came to play today. He came to play today. He's on the board. He's on the board early. Uh, we're gonna get a nice little double shot off. No, we're not. No, we are not. This thing's protects and gets a free Intimidate drop. Jeez, man. This dude doesn't play around. This dude doesn't play around. The wing we come through. Oh, no. Okay, we put it on the top side. Okay, so at least we get off some damage. I thought we put it on the uh, grenade side. I think he's just trying to wait out this uh, this over here. I'm a Dragon Pulse. Uh, he might swap that Landorus again. Or that, uh, not the Landorus. The Tornadus. But I'm going to still drop a Dragon Pulse. I wouldn't be surprised yet. Okay, he swaps the Landorus back in the top of the slot. Oh, yeah, that's fine. Because he wants that Intimidate back. So he's going to keep going with that. Luckily, I am uh, special attacking, but then that Misty Surge is totally helping him out. Definitely. Still doing a good amount of damage. Let's get it. Take that thing out. Get out of my face. Let's go, knocking it though. Let's get it. Not bad damage popping off there, so he cannot get a Tailwind, I don't think. I think faints, and it goes down. Beautiful. So not bad. Not too bad. That special attacking really, really doing us justice. And now he's going to go back into Landers. Yeah, get the Intimidate again, which is really only doing stuff to my talent plane because i am special attacking on now the Dell side so okay i'm fine with that we're gonna see a dynamax here i feel like we can see one very very soon no need to taunt anybody this will just uh double through onto the i don't want to try to get a burn onto the lander so i'm gonna go for a flare blitz here even if it is going to take me out and then drop into a dragon pulse here because we are scar we got a dynamax we are gonna see a dynamax probably from the tapu side oh uh, okay so if that happens, then I guess our, our Dynamax Pokemon is going to be our Zapdos. This one's going to be a real close battle. He's swapping out a lot. Yeah, Tapu gets the Dynamax. i got to watch out considering my Dragonite. The Dragonite is scared. My Dragonite is terrifying now. With Dragonite in the back end. And that is just terrifying. It is a weakness policy. So I could actually Dynamax, and it has multi-scale, which is beautiful. Which is absolutely beautiful. How much damage are we doing in this thing? Get it out of here. Cool. Dual Wing Beat should be able to come through and pick up. Or Flare Blitz, at least. Should be able to pick up a KO. That's fine if a Talonflame goes out. Actually, Talonflame might be able to survive this recoil damage. Because that wasn't that much damage. Let's see. Talonflame, eat it up, please. I love you. I love you. Let's get it. Starfall coming out here. Noggin Adele did his job. That's totally cool with me. That's totally cool with me. And he eats, yo. He eats. You're the best, Noggin Adele. He eats that. He said, yo, that's a tasty snack you got there. Let me have that up. And these two are just running the front line early on in this match. And then Reggie Draco does come through. And I, this Tailwind, is Tailwind gone? Tailwind might be gone. I'm still going to try to set up a Tailwind here. This thing's probably going to outspeed me. Maybe, maybe not. We are Choice Scarf. Let's go, Noggin Adele. Do him dirty. Noggin Adele doing him dirty with the Choice Scarf. Let's go. I'm not worried about you, Reggie Draco. I'm not worried about you. Even if it only did half, that is still awesome. And we do get a Tailwind off, which is huge. Even that it only did half, that is awesome because Dragon Energy will do less because it's based on... Actually, it's based on the user's HP. It's based on my HP. This might not even take on my... Actually, it probably will take on my non though. No lie. Yeah. Dude, jeez. Dude, that move is hefty. But at least we got off the Tailwind. So, speed advantage is in our favor all day. Which is great. Which is totally awesome. Dynamax my Galarian. And then we roll from here. Use Max Starfall. Poop, poop. Miss. Get out of my face. So, really smart play for me to go into my non right off the rip. Predicting the... Uh, the, may, the potential Tailwind into the Reggie Draco. I don't know if uh, Tornadus learns it, but I'm guessing it does. I had to guess it does. But Dragonite and Zapdos going to come out here. Big old ostrich bird. But I did hear somebody, uh, one of my viewers in my Twitch stream, said the shiny Galarian birds have the same color palette as the Cantonian version, which sounds amazing. So if you guys don't, do not know what that means, supposedly the shiny Zapdos has like the original Zapdos colors. So that's actually really cool. Uh, I think I'm going to Dynamax and just Airstream. Dragonite should be able to outspeed and take out that, uh... Well, Breaking Swipe... I should be able to hit that. I'm gonna say it does. I'm gonna say it does. Maybe I should just fly. But Dynamax coming out from the bird. From big old bird. And I'm guessing this should be able to take out this, uh, Reggie Draco. This is physical attacking. Should be able to do some work over here. Definitely got speed. Big old ostrich, dude. I love this thing. Like, seeing it run around in the Crown Tundra, it's just, like, smoothing. Nothing can catch this thing. It's hilarious. But here goes my nice little airstream. We'll get a little speed boost here and do some damage over on you. And we're life orb as well, which is huge. Which is huge. I think what's called will take out my Dragonite, but then we should just be thriving here. 
My Dragonite should be able to take out the Draco. Bacon Swipe comes through. Get out of your Tapu. Hit that Ridge Draco. Take that thing out. Get it out of my face. Mmm. 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 What you mean? What you mean? And look how much damage it did. It did absolutely nothing because it is on 1 HP. Oh my lord. We really didn't take that thing out, but it did trigger weakness policy, which is huge. Which is huge. And what are you going for? He's going for a Starfall over on Dragonite slot. And I think he's choice into, uh, he's got to be choice into, oh, we survived. Though. Dragonite's an absolute stud. He's a beast. He's a beast. We got speed. That's game. That, that's game. That's game over. Okay, uh, pretty straightforward. This one, yeah, it's simple. Yeah, we got this one in the bag. We got this one in the bag, but Dragonite eats it up. No problem whatsoever. Uh, I'll drop another Airstream over onto the top of the slot. Actually, or do I just go for, like, I think a dual wing beat would be better. So we just go here. We take out Reggie Draco with that, and then a dual wing beat over onto the top of the finish slot. Considering we're weakness policy, that's plus two attack. He just cancels the battle, and we get that first battle victory. Second battle on its way, and look who's back. This guy's got Mimikyu. I haven't seen Mimikyu in ages, man. It's awesome to actually see it. This guy also has Galarian Articuno, Galarian Malwak. Is it? Yeah, it's Galarian Malwak. Uh, Urshifu, Mimikyu, uh, Tapu Koko, and Alolan Ninetales. That's actually Alolan Malwak, not Galarian Malwak. I knew Galarian Malwak sounded off, but who should we go into? Who should we play this game? Um, who do I think he's going to lead, to be honest? Probably the Ninetales. That's, that, that, that's pretty straightforward. I wouldn't, I wouldn't be surprised with that. Maybe the Coco to set the Surge. Larian Articuno is an absolute beast. I kind of want to bring Talonflame. Take speed. This guy is a rather fast team. So Talonflame is definitely going to be a lead. Talonflame is always a nice lead. Bring Nakano Del in the back uh, for sure. I might want to lead uh, Zapdos here. I think I am going to lead Zapdos. I think we're going to go Zapdos, Talonflame, Nakano Del, and then Choice Ban Garchomp in the back end and get rolling from there. I think that's a solid little play. I feel like we can get rolling. We got Double Dragon, and then we got everything is like flying. Everything's like a flying type, because I consider dragons like flying type technically, because dragons can fly, but they're not a dragon type. You guys know what I'm saying. Like, I just see them as flying Pokemon. Like, not gonna tell if they had to have a third type, it's flying. Same thing with all other dragons. They all have wings, and they can't fly. <laughs> well, Dragonite is part flying, which is pretty cool. That's what I love about dragon types. Dragon types always have, like, that secondary cool type, and they're all different ones. Like, you got those poison ones, you got the flying ones, you got the uh, ground ones, like Garchomp. It's crazy, but it's very, very cool. And then now in uh, Sword and Shield, we got the Steel one with the But well, He's going to go low on Ninetales and Galarian Articuno. We're going to go Galarian Arbird and this way. Um, I might not even, uh, I might just double into the uh, the Ninetales. Do I double into the Ninetales? I think it's probably Sash, to be honest. I'm still going to Flare Blitz it. Hmm. I could throw Chop. I could totally throw Chop. I don't want Dynamax at the same time. This thing's gonna be sash, and it's gonna outspeed me, so. Let's just go for a Tailwind. I'm just gonna go for a Tailwind, never mind. I'm just gonna Tailwind up. Instead of trying to drop the thing, he can have that, uh. He can have that. What's this do? Yeah, these are overwhelms the target with a lightning like movement before a delivering kick. This also lowers the defense stat. Okay, cool. Um. i just Blaze Kick it. I don't know what I really wanna go for. Drill Pack. Start Beak with a Drill. Blah, blah, blah. I'm gonna go for the blaze kick over on the wall and tail slot. I think that's fun. I think that is the play. We might see a Dynamax Galarian Articuno. Yep. Yep, we gonna see that. We gonna see that. That's totally fine. That's totally fine. As long as I get up this tail and start out speeding. And then we're gonna see that Aurora Veil. This thing's 100% sash, so there really wasn't no point of not setting up the Tailwind and trying to take speed advantage. Because if I say I would've went for the Flare Blitz, it's sashed up. It's gonna get it up anyway, because it's going to be able to outspeed this uh, Zapdos. I believe it will, right? Watch. We'll see. Well, not anymore now because we're tailwind. But this thing's like 150 something, and the low nine tails get up to like 190. A blaze kick popping off here. Oh my lord! It's not sash, yo! It's not sash. It's not sash, and that works out perfectly fine for us. I'll take that all day. I'll take that all day. Thank you, Zapdos, for coming out here. Airstream coming out here. Probably on my Zapdos. Nope. Talonflame. Oh, bro, I'll take that all day. I'll take that all day. I'll take that one for trade, one for one trade all day. We get our tailwind up. We're sitting in a pretty spot. We still got our life board Pokemon, and now I can roll out with either Garchomp or Nagano Del. My choice, but I might just Dynamax uh, my bird, my Galarian bird. Would be pretty nice. Uh, Nagano Del. Look, we got Thunderbolt. Yeah, we do got Rock Slide. And I could change up the weather. That could work a little. Uh, what do I really want to go for? Hmm. Bam, bam, 
I think we'd rather save on knocking Adele for the back. I think, yeah, I think we saved that for when the tail went up and said we need an extra speed boost to take out the last Pokemon. So we'll keep knocking Adele in the back and bring out Garchomp. Boy, look at this dude. Look at all spiffy. Looks so good. And Tapu Koko is going to come out here as well, which is awesome. We're part ground type. That is huge. That is lovely. They're going to have to go after my my Galarian bird. So I might, uh, I cannot Dynamax and Guard, so I'm not going to Dynamax him. Quick Quake. Does that thing love it? No, it's not love it. Oh, yeah, I am going to Quake. And get that boost. Okay, we're gonna quake, get the boost, and I'm just gonna throw chop over here. This thing's not. Lethal. I'm just gonna throw chop over here. Do some damage before he goes out, because they're definitely dropping like a bolt switch or something along those lines. But I'm a quake, get that special defense boost. Considering Glare and Articuno is special attacking. And then we have Nagano in the back end. Yeah, you better swap. You better swap. What are you going into? Oh, and that can take it. Okay, Mimikyu. Okay, so we'll take off the skies and still get the special defense boost. That's cool with me. I'm cool with it. I'm cool with it, oh yeah, so what's it called, might actually survive this turn, da -na -na. actually this is what's gonna happen, I bet you he's gonna go after my Zapdos, he's gonna bring it down to low HP and just shadow sneak it out, which I'm cool with, I'm totally fine with, I mean that's fine with me, get my boy Garchomp out here, and then when he uh, undynamaxes, then we can choice ban into a move, which is good, let's get it, Quake popping off here, Disguise is gonna break as well, what other, uh, what other abilities does uh, he learn, oh I should have actually dropped the rock, Get my sand bell rolling. rolling. I think that's the play. Next turn, we drop and rock. This guy's pops. I'm cool with it. And we should be able to get off the throw chop here as well. It's pretty nice. Throw chop. Doing some decent damage. Doing some decent damage. But yeah, let's drop the rock next turn. And Airstream's gonna fly through over on my Zapdos, right? Yeah. Zapdos is gone. Oh, I forgot he's fighting type. I forgot he's fighting type. He's fighting and flying. This is an odd combination because... Flying neglects fighting, like it's super effective to it. Speed getting boosted. Uh, how many turns left in the tail? We're gonna start making something work out here. But definitely the rock falls gotta pop out here. Right, we should have one more turn left in tail one, I think. Should have one more turn. Yes, we do. Okay, so now gonna delve. get out here, boy. Uh, I can scarf now. I gotta choose scarf into a move. Probably my, it probably either my, probably my poison move, right? Probably the play. I'm definitely dropping the rock to take out you. And then it's either a poison or a poison. And then what is he? Is he fairy typing? Yeah, he is. Tapu Koko's fairy, so I'm gonna drop this. I'm gonna go into a uh, sludge bomb. I'm gonna switch off from the sludge bomb. Get it, baby doll eyes. Oh, you biscuit, boy. You biscuit. I think prankster, dropping my attack. Get out of my face. Sludge bomb coming out here. Do some work on me. Oh, give me the poison. Yeah, my dude. It's that big old poison. This is going to come out here, but it's going to trigger our sand bill, which is actually really, really nice. Which uh, raises our evasiveness. Can we take out? We do not pick up the tail. Whack. Whack game. This game's whack. This game's whack. Give me my sand bill. Please don't go after Nagin Adele. Leave him alone. Leave him alone. Leave him alone. No. Please. Oh, my God. If this thing didn't have baby doll eyes, this game is ours for the taking. It's GG in the bag for us. I mean, I'm still going to say there's a chance here. I'm still going to say there's a chance. We still have our choice band move. Okay, right, this thing will actually die to the buffets. Which is... Okay. This thing's just going to pester me with baby dolls, which is a pain in the neck. And we have one more shot here. We have one more uh, Dynamax turn. The game's not over yet. We got the poison rolling out on this thing and the buffets. Sandvale's going to work in our favor. That's some nice damage. That's some nice damage with the buffets. Okay, okay, guard chomp. Can you clutch it up for us? I'm hoping. I'm hoping. Tapu's coming out here. I might see a protect from the Tapu. Electro Surge coming out. That's totally fine. We're ground type. We are ground type. But this thing also is fairy type. Which is a little whack. And I don't think we have Tailwind anymore, do we? We do. Ooh, that's lovely. That's lovely. We still have Tailwind. Uh, we gotta drop a Quake here. We have to drop a Quake. It's a must. They're both fairy typings, which is totally scary. Is he gonna baby doll eye me again? No, he's protecting. You biscuit. This ain't my baby doll eyes. Let's see what it does. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You buttery biscuit. You buttery biscuit, man. We're not gonna be able to outspeed it after a tailwind, which is whack. Our attack's dropping down this, like, disaster. But we hit that. And. We get the special defense boost. We gotta be able to eat up a shot from the Tapu Koko. That's a, that's the one problem. We gotta be able to eat up a shot from the Tapu Koko and then 
Will this actually take out? Show me the poison takes this thing out. I don't think it will. That seems like a little too much. Get out of here. E! E! And we don't have protect, so I can't protect out of turn. Just have buff. It's coming. But the Sand Veil can clutch up for us, which would be lovely if Sand Veil does clutch up for us. Our only option is to go for an EQ, right? Only option. Only option. Choice ban to EQ. And hope, hopefully it does work. We're plus two on special defense board. Uh, Baby Dot Eyes coming back out here. We avoid it. Sand Veil coming up clutch. Sand Veil clutch up. Eat this up. We eat up. Hold up. Hold up. You get a crit. Special defense boost is, is might win us the game. Come on, baby. Come on. Doom dirty. Oh, my lord. We need Sand Veil to clutch up. We need Sand Veil to clutch up. If I had protect, this game would have been over. I think it's a barrier, of course. We need Sand Veil to clutch up right here, right now. It just made us dodge that attack. Of course, this thing gets a crit, man. Sand Veil. Come on, baby. <laughs> I need you here. Let's get it. Actually, Protect wouldn't work because we're Choice Bandit. You need to miss. Come on, Sand Veil. Get the dodging going. You got it. This is why we set this. Get it. Oh, man. Man, I thought Sand Veil was going to clutch it up for us. But, yo, GG to this guy. Lucky little biscuit. Baby Doll Eyes definitely clutched it up. And Sand Veil did not prevail in any of those last two moves. But, awesome battle. We're 1-1. One one. We're going to hop to our third and try to get a winning record. Third and final battle. Looking for that winning record. Going up against, like, a normal... Rank battle team right here. No new Pokemon here. So hopefully we can throw them off, grab, grab a big fat W, and leave with the winning record. He has the Sigui and Inteleon, which is kind of scary. Both those Pokemon are very, very strong. Dragalge here as well, but he's slow. And that Corsola. That Corsola is kind of annoying. Or Cursula, however you, whichever one it is. Now, Cursula is the second evolution, but this one's just Galarian. Corsola. Um, do I really need Tailwind? I feel like we might need Tailwind. Yeah, we're going to go with Tailwind again. I think it's just a play. That does going to lie here. I don't want knocking it down in the back. And then Dragonite or Garchomp. Dragonite or Garchomp. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hmm. I don't want that Dragonite, but at the same time, I want that Garchomp. The Garchomp's just a beast. Same thing with Dragonite. They're both so good. Um, hmm. What do I really want here? Who do I really want? There's no electric. I think we're going to go with uh, Dragonite. I think we are going to roll out with Dragonite here. And just uh, try to pile through this one, get that win. We have multi scale on it as well, which is absolutely huge. So if you guys do not know what multi scale does, I believe this is what it does. When you're at full health, the first shot will actually be half the damage of what it normally will be. So most Dragonites cannot be one shot if it has multi scale ability. I think the only way it's happening is like maybe Belly Jump or something crazy like that, because this thing can eat up shots, especially with that ability. It's nuts. It is nuts. Especially if you're Dynamax. Especially if you're Dynamax. But the Decidueye and Inteleon combo comes out here. Not too surprised. Not too surprised. I could just flare butts and drop a, uh, and then just, uh, Dynamax here and drop an airstream. I think that might be the play. Instead of Tailwind. Let's see if we just do that. I think that's the play. Let's go for it. I start taking speed advantage early on. Uh, this thing might actually drop a Hailstorm, but my Zapdos should be able to eat up a Hailstorm all day. Um, am I Dynamaxing? Is that me? I think both of our characters look the same. There's a Dust Ball. Who, who's caught in a Dust Ball? I have no idea. My Zapdos. Okay, cool. So if he's Dynamax and we're outspeeding, which is just lovely. It's just dandy. We, we just get cooked. Get it, Zapdos. Big old bird. <laughs> I love this thing. Flare Butch should come out first with the Gale Wings. No Dynamax from, from him. Snipe Shot coming out. Oh, you out. Wait. How are you going first? How are you going first? I'm Gale Wings. Oh, it's for flying moves. Ah, Biscuits. Biscuits is for flying moves. That one's on me. But still, one for one trade there. I'm cool with it. I'm chilling. Get that Inteleon out of the way. We got the speed boost. I was going to say, yo, I'm Gale Wings. What is going on here? But I forgot. It's only full HP with flying moves. So it's, it's used for the Tailwind or Braver. Braver comes out. And that's going to do some damage. But we're going to be able to easy eat up on it. That's fine. It's easy eats, baby. I still got an Airstream rolling out here. Uh, I'm going to go Dragonite. I'm going to pull out the Dragonite here. He's chilling. He's going to be looking lovely here. He's got that weakness policy as well. And Corsola is going to come out to play. Okay. Again, just another airstream takes out the Sidui. And then Dragonite can start pestering down onto that uh, Corsola slot. Hmm. A dual wing beat onto that thing? Probably. Good stab damage on. I could try to make a flinch. Drop an attack won't really do much. I'm just going to dual wing beat. Get that stab damage. And then uh, take you out. I'm going to take out you, Decidui. I ain't doing with you, man. Let's get it. Airstream. Later starter. Get that starter out of here. I think uh, Corsula is the only Pokemon that's going to pose a threat in this final battle. 
like, because everyone knows how annoying and, like, pestering this thing can get with just, uh, strength saps and all that good stuff. It's just annoying. Oh, a max knuckle would be great. On to the next Pokemon. They give me an attack boost on both these dogs. Maybe buzzing. Here's my dual wing beat. One slap. Yeah, yeah. This thing's such a tank. This is such a tank. Weak armor. We're going to drop its, uh, defense, which is nice. And we're going to boost its speed. Okay. That's totally fine. I'd rather drop its defense. We got Get out of here, man. So it's minus two now. Maybe another dual wing beat will be able to take this thing out. Which would be lovely. Speed's raising. This isn't going for a strength sap if I had to guess. The will of us. Okay, fair. Fair play. That's fair play. Might protect next turn. I definitely got to drop a, uh, my move. My Zapdos got to go after that, uh, horse slow. Because I don't want to get a burn on this thing. And it's minus two. So Max Airstream might be able to take out. I think I'm going to double up in this slot. Actually, should I double up into it or not? He still has Dynamax, and this Pokemon will get the Dynamax, obviously. This course light is not getting it. Um, mm, or, or, or we can double up into this. Because who do we sell in the back? Not gonna do. Which is special attacking. No, I'd rather, uh, I'd rather get after you. I'd rather get after this course light here. It's minus two right now. I gotta get it out the way before it strength saps and just kind of like a noise. Which it probably will do this turn. Onto, or it will will of us. I'm not too sure. But no tailwind, but I still feel like we're uh, our speed's fine. I still feel like our speed is fine. We just got snipe shot it down. We got snipe shot it down turn one. And telling I was just like, hey, bang bang, and just lit us up. <laughs> Here goes my darkness. Hopefully this takes out. I think it should. With that minus two. Yeah. Okay, so of course let down for the count. We're sitting pretty fine here. We're sitting pretty fine here. Sitting I saw my boy in the back with T Bolt as a choice scarf. And we do get what was that? Special defense drop? Or defense. I think it was special defense, which is huge. Not gonna double come out here. I think dodges. He dodges the wing beat. He dodges the wing beat. Get out of my face. Uh, that's probably gonna take us out. Yeah, okay. Zapdos is down for the count. What you mean? What you mean? He gets a heat. He is cooking. He is cooking. And he missed. We missed that thing. Okay, this one's actually gonna be really, really close considering we got that, that burn on me. I don't like that one bit. Not one bit, man. Not gonna doubt. Get out of here. We have Air Slash, which is super effective. I think we're going to have to double up in the super effective moves here. I think it's the play. I think that's the play. Get it, Naganadel. Even though it's not stabbed, super effective is... Yeah, this one's stabbed, though. But we are burned, which stinks. Which stinks so much. Come on. Come on, I need you to clutch it up here, baby. Air Slash. Hey. Not bad damage. Dual Wing Beat come out here. Show, show me what you got. One shot. Not too bad. I need I need Naganadel to like eat up the shot here. Even though I, I really don't think he will. Oh, will another dual wing beat eat this up? Or kill this thing? That's going to be close. Oh, it goes after Dragonite. That's even better. And Dragonite can eat. Oh, that's game now. That is game now. Game, set, and match. Beautiful. Awesome. Because I thought he was maybe going to be able to take out Nakan Adele here. And then maybe the Air Slash wasn't going to take out. But say he would have taken out Dragonite, I think Air Slash would have took it out and finished the game. Let's see. Yeah, it does. GG, baby. Let's get it. Let's go. Winning record again for these casual battles. We have been rocking out for them, which is absolutely amazing. I'm glad I got to show off this team right here. Got to show off Zapdos a lot and knocking it out with that choice scarf, which is absolutely amazing. Amazing team right here. I had a blast showing off Galarian, Zapdos, and Tree Scarf, Nagan Adele. Same thing with that Garchomp. It was tons of fun to use considering this was like my first time using them on the casual ladder. But we also have another Garchomp team on the way to show off Garchomp to his fullest potential. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Also, guys, don't forget, if you want to help me out with bu building teams, leave me a comment in the comment section down below. But even better would be go into the link in the description below if you have Instagram. Hit that link for my Instagram. It's jeans underscore YouTube. DM me over there asking what Pokemon you, you would like to build a team on. And I'll send you guys a list and all that good stuff. So if you are interested, definitely hit me up because I do need help building teams for my YouTube videos. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Peace out, everyone.